NBC7's What's Up is sponsored by Bill Howe Plumbing, Heating, and Air, Flood and Restoration. We know how. I'm Marianne Cushy, and this is your morning update for Thursday, November 5th. Across the country, some states and counties still have large amounts of ballots left to count. The latest data from the Registrar of Voters Office says more than 1.2 million ballots have to be counted. That includes most of the ballots cast at the polls and mail-in ballots that have already been received. There are still at least 370,000 ballots that have not been counted. And remember, ballots will be counted as long as they were postmarked by Election Day. We're expecting the next round of local results at 5 o'clock tonight. Here in San Diego, there were 404 new cases yesterday out of more than 1,500 tests. That's a 3% positivity rate. 297 people are hospitalized now for COVID-19 in San Diego County, and that's the highest number in recent weeks. There were three more people who died from COVID-19, bringing the total number of deaths since the pandemic began to 904. There were seven new community outbreaks reported, three in restaurant bar situation, two in businesses, one in a healthcare setting, and then there was another in a grocery store. Local health officials are saying we're in danger of moving into the purple tier, which is the most restrictive. San Diego County's adjusted case rate per 100,000 people is 7.4. And if we stay above seven for another week, the restrictions of the purple tier will take effect meaning indoor operations for gyms and churches and restaurants would all have to move outside. And as we approach winter, that's more of an issue than it was in the summer. And if we do move into the purple tier next week, any district that plans on reopening for in-person learning could have their plans shut down and distance learning could would have to continue, I would say. However, districts would not be forced to roll back if they've already begun in-person classes. A new site is now open at Lemon Grove Community Center, which is on School Lane. You do not need an appointment to get a COVID-19 test. It's open from 8.30 to 5.30. And also, you should know this, the testing center that was at Mar Vista High School, it's now closed. It's moved to Imperial Beach Rec Center. That site opens up November 12th and will also take walk-ins. No appointment is needed. And to sports, after a hot start to the season, the Aztecs may be in for a bigger challenge tomorrow. They'll be playing San Jose State. Both teams are undefeated. We'll see if they can keep it up tomorrow. Kickoff is at 6 o'clock. That's in Carson. And we'll continue to bring you the very latest on NBC7.com and on TV. And you can also learn more on our podcast today in San Diego, where we give you the latest headlines in five minutes. Stay safe, everybody, and have a great day. NBC7's What's Up is sponsored by Bill Howe Plumbing, Heating, and Air, Flood, and Restoration. Call 1-800-BILL-HOWE. Bill Howe. We know how. If tree roots have invaded your drain line, call Bill Howe today as our certified technicians can fix them with an epoxy V line, which requires no expensive digging. Call 1-800-BILL-HOWE. Bill Howe. Because we, we know how. how.